Biovivacious. I am Sebastian. Biovivacious is a YouTube channel dedicated to clear fundamentals of biosciences and make the subject exciting. Finally, let us summarize all that we have seen by looking at what is the source of ammonia for urea cycle. So therefore, this is basically a kind of a summary. So this is the ammonia um, for urea cycle. Let us see what is the source of it. So one possibility is through transamination reaction. So uh, transamination reaction and clubbing with the glutamate dehydrogenase. So we will get ammonia. That is one source of ammonia that we have learned so far. If the second source of ammonia is, you know, there are enzymes known as uh, amidohydrolases. Amidohydrolase. So these amidohydrolases, um, they are basically uh, removing amino group from purines and pyrimidines. Okay, so that becomes one another source of ammonia. Another source of ammonia is uh, amine oxidases. Okay, amine oxidases. So these amine oxidases are uh, removing uh, the nitrogen from various nitrogen containing containing compounds. Okay, so you know that there are several hormones. Okay, so there are neurotransmitters, all of them contains nitrogen. So amine oxidases will also remove uh, ammonia from these substances. So that is another source of ammonia. Another source of ammonia, we have seen that uh, from uh, glutamine, okay, glutamine, when deaminates, so that is by glutaminase enzyme. Okay. So it will give rise to ammonia. So let us complete this portion because you know that from ammonia we can also make glutamine uh, with the addition of glutamine synthetase. We have seen this reaction a while ago. So these are other sources of ammonia. Now once this ammonia is uh, uh, formed, so one possibility it can be excreted in urine. Okay, so another possibility that is for maintaining acid base balance. Another possibility is this is used for urea cycle. Okay, it is used for urea cycle. And you know that in the urea cycle, urea is released and it will be excreted in urine. Now, um, there are certain intestinal bacteria which has an enzyme known as urease enzyme. So this bacteria can act on urea. So this is urease enzyme that also contribute towards formation of ammonia. So look at the, the, the sources. So therefore, this is one source, second source, third one, fourth source, and fifth source. Five sources of ammonia for urea cycle. So this gives us an overall idea about how ammonia is generated and how it contributes towards uh, formation of a urea cycle.